The most inspiring uh, personalities were the most persistent ones. What I learned that, that inspired me the most were people who start from nothing and they build, but they are persistent, that they spend their lifetime achieving a single goal. Uh, these are the, the, the inspiration, the marathonists, not the sprinters. These are the people who inspired me the most. Kosovo has gone through a very difficult period. Uh, the 90s were very difficult. We all, kind of the whole nation, became activists. Um, after the war, I went a different path. Uh, I went into private sector. I went into telecommunications business. I stayed in business for 13 years. And when I got the offer uh, to serve uh, in, in our foreign ministry, it was a, a kind of a public service. We, hoped, we all have to give it back at some point, and I guess this was my time. To, to give back and in the public service. So I, I took the position also knowing the challenges and give my contribution in, in for the relationship of, of Kosovo, especially as we are going through our infancy in building a, a nation and building a state. Our diplomatic mission uh, here in our embassy is actually extension and, and working on an overall mission of our foreign ministry, which at this stage, apart from developing bilateral and, and strong relationship with the United States, uh, knowing that the United States is, is the primary international partner, the number one partner, that the most important one that Kosovo has, apart from that component where we work on, on expanding our relationship uh, cultivating the relationship between, between two countries and the friendship that we have so far. It's also working on the uh, multinational part, multilateral part of our work, which is using the availability of all the missions here in, in DC to work with countries that haven't recognized, to work with countries to understand better Kosovo, to understand better the context and share uh, the information. I, I see our role as, as more of yeah, adding to the quality of the conversation and the quality of the relationship and just adding to the channels of communication that exist between our foreign ministry and other governments in the world. The agreement with Serbia, which uh, our government uh, of Kosovo reached it in April, uh, was called by our prime minister as a historic one. Uh, I believe it's a significant achievement. Uh, it's, uh, it's, nobody believed it when, when the negotiations, negotiations started last year. Nobody believed that it, there will be an agreement, and especially not in such a short period of time when we look at, at other uh, areas in the world. Uh, it's significant because it, it's the first sign of, of both countries moving forward. In Kosovo, I'm very excited about the prospect that we can focus on, on other things that actually matter more to the, to the individual lives and well-being of our citizens than using that as an, using the relationship with Serbia as a political excuse for, for not getting things done. I think I'm excited about the next elections in Kosovo where the subject will not be Serbia but will be uh, other more and more important issues. I try to promote Kosovo by sharing the information of how much we achieved in the last five years. Going uh, from a, a difficult period and, and the war in the 90s, and going through a stabilization period under UN, and just being independent for the last five years. Just sharing information, what we have achieved so far, how much we have gone forward, what developments we had in Kosovo, I think it's the best way to promote and that's what I use for, for promotion of Kosovo, just sharing information of how much we have done in these last five years. My hobbies and, and passion uh, lately I'm discovering a new hobby here in DC, which is biking and, and walking. In, in Back home in Kosovo I did more sports, I did soccer, but here because of the time I cannot commit to that. So, you know, I find something that is more suitable and can work on my time and then the time that I find free. But Washington provides with great opportunity for, for hiking, for walking, for biking, and that has become my new, new hobby, like outdoors, just staying out. 
Uh, my passion lately has been studying um, developments in, in different parts of the world, history uh, and a social context of, of why things happen and why things matter. And, and this social analysis become my new passion lately and that's what I'm focusing a lot and understanding a little bit better what, what happens to them, to the nations and what happens to the countries.